It's become much easier to find your way around the Patapsco Valley State Park, thanks to UMBC's Tom Rabenhorst and the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. Together, they have produced a new comprehensive trail map of one of the Baltimore region's largest natural areas. As a cartographer, I've always been interested in a variety of different kinds of mapping. But because of my love of the outdoors, it's a natural match to be able to go out and map parks. Patapsco Valley State Park is very unique in that it's in a metropolitan area and yet it's very natural. It's the refuge for people who are used to their daily lives including concrete and steel and roadways and cars and they can go within a few minutes drive of their houses or their place of work and be out in nature. Using the latest in mapping technology, Tom Rabenhorst has for the first time charted the lower Patapsco Valley's 17-mile trail system. GPS is global positioning satellite system and it's a series of a number of satellites that are in the sky that uh, can be used as triangulation points to a piece of equipment that you can carry around with you and through the simple triangulation geometry uh, you can locate yourself very accurately on the face of the earth. There had been no comprehensive map of Patapsco State Park and I thought that this would be a real uh, benefit to the community uh, as well as a kind of a self-serving thing for myself because I really enjoy getting out into the parks and I knew there were many trails that I'd come across over the years but I didn't know where many of them went. The trail guides developed by the park in concert with UMBC and Tom Ravenhorst in the cartography department are one of the best things that's ever happened to the park. Given the amount of trail use that the park has and the increased trail use especially in the last decade it's one of the things that the public has found to be the most useful that the park has done. The park is uniquely located, I think, for our UMBC community in that uh, we're only a mile from the park if we were to walk from the campus over to the closest trail and to enjoy some of the uh, finer aspects of the park environment. The UMBC Cycling Club has been around for about two years. There are about 90 members on the email list. Um, about 10 to 15 actively ride on a weekly basis. I would say we do about 95% of our riding here in Patapsco. Um, we do some riding in some of the other local state parks, but being that this park is so close to school, it's really convenient for us to just hop on over right from school. I feel the most useful thing about the map is that the trails are very clearly marked as far as names and colors. Um, it makes it very easy for new users of the park to, to find their way through the park. And even people that have been using the park for a while, it makes it easy for them to uh, you know, explore the park and maybe even explore new trails that they've never been on before. It's a good partnership with UMBC because we are basically neighbors. When you're walking on the trails depicted in the trail guide, in the one area of the park anyway, if you get up on the hillsides, especially at certain times of the year, you can see the UMBC campus. So it's kind of a neat partnership right there, just in the fact that uh, an institution of higher learning and a place to escape institutions of higher learning and all the other places that people have to go during the day are side by side. UMBC's Department of Geography and Environmental Systems gives students unique opportunities to work and learn alongside instructors like Tom Rabenhorst. We find that uh, students are much more interested in the subject material when we can give them some practical applications to the material that they're learning in the classroom. And we find that cartography is a very integral part of our program and we teach remote sensing, production cartography, and GIS, and we try to apply these in our other courses as well as in real life situations. Our students tend to go out very well trained. Uh, they are highly uh, sought after by various companies and we've had very little difficulty getting our students placed when they uh, pick up these added skills. But Tom was especially easy to work with and anything we wanted he would do for us which of course when you're developing a product like this trail guide was incredibly important that we be able to provide our input as to what the public needs from these trail guides and mix that with what the map maker knows that people need from a map. It's been a great experience doing these park maps and I hope I can continue to do more in the future. Uh, it's a great way to combine uh, getting exercise and getting out and seeing new areas and uh, putting it into a, a format that uh, I teach at the university. So it's uh, 
kind of a win-win situation for me.